So as you just saw, the NI platform is evolving to not only be a solution for measurement and automation applications, but increasingly being part of the process of designing, prototyping, and deploying a range of industrial and embedded systems. The intuitiveness of LabVIEW combined with the performance and flexibility of industrial I.O. like Compact Rio is proving to be an ideal solution for applications like machine control, machine condition monitoring, and more. To tell us about our latest products for Compact Rio, please welcome from System Engineering Mark Christensen and Product Manager Christian Fritz. Thanks, John. As you know, National Instruments works closely with key technology partners such as Freescale and Xilinx to incorporate latest technologies into our products. Today, I'm honored to announce the new um, NI Compact, con um, con the, um, Compact Rio controller and the new Compact Rio backplane, which offer very high performance. Featuring a 800 megahertz Freescale processor and a new Xilinx Vertex 5 FPGA, those products offer significant performance improvements compared to the systems we released a year ago. Well, that looks like some really impressive performance gains in just a year, but aren't both of you guys in the motion control group, so why are you up here talking about Compact Rio hardware? Well, multi-axis motion control can be very processor intensive. Each axis requires multiple cascaded control loops, and in multi-axis control, these loops must be tightly synchronized in order to provide smooth trajectories. Higher performance real-time processors and FPGAs make it easier to perform sophisticated motion control on Compact Rio. At the same time, a lot of our customers have been asking for tools that simplify the development of motion applications on Compact Rio. Today, I'm happy to announce the new LabVIEW 2009 NI Soft Motion module and three new C-Series drive interface modules for Compact Rio. While the new C-Series motion modules directly connect the Compact Rio system to hundreds of stepper and servo drives, the new NI Soft Motion module enables graphical axis configuration and provides a high-level function block API for simplified application development. In addition, NI Soft Motion is shipping with a pioneering interface to the 3D CAD design tool SolidWorks, which allows customers to reuse the same VI they created using the NI Soft Motion functions to develop a digital prototype of their linear motion system. Together, these products allow customers to quickly develop, validate, visualize, and deploy motion applications to Compact Rio. A prime objective in architecting these tools was not only to ensure ease of use, but scalability and flexibility. We give customers direct access to low-level motion components. In systems engineering, we've already used these capabilities to solve specialized applications that require unique I.O. or implementation of advanced algorithms, such as field-oriented control or inverse kinematics. To demonstrate some of those new features, we created a complex motion system known as a Delta Robotic Arm. This machine, which Mark just starts, um, combines three coordinated axes connected to a joint base. The unique mechanical setup of this machine allows very fast and precise movements, but controlling it requires very specific kinematics algorithms, which are not provided by the NI software tools today. But because LabVIEW and NI Soft Motion are open, we were able to reuse existing code and implement it directly on the real-time processor. We created this application using the high-level function block API to design the motion profile. The NI Soft Motion engine then passes the trajectories to the custom control algorithm and con commands the C-series motion modules to move the motors. Well, guys, this is a really impressive uh, machine you developed, but you know this is NI Week, and we kind of have a high bar with the demos. Anything we could do to add a little of excitement? Yeah, actually, we expected, or we were a little bit afraid that we get a request like that, and therefore we created a net application which we call the flying blade of amputation. So. <laughs> While the machine picks up um, the blade, would you mind lending us a hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the flying blade of amputation definitely sounds exciting, but exactly how do you need my help? Well, the crowd already figured it out. We need you to lend us a hand, otherwise the <laughs> demo wouldn't be called flying blade of amputation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my robot assistant over there has got a really good point, so how about I lend you a glove? <laughs> And uh, Mark, while you set that up, perhaps I can operate this HMI touch panel here. Well, I think this guy is just a little bit jealous of our compact Rio-controlled robot, but I can see how the speed can be intimidating. 
All right, so let's, talking about speed, let's see if we can crank this thing up a little bit. All right, that's impressive. <laughs> Afterwards, Anyone who wants to put their hand in it afterwards, come up and talk to us, except for my sons sitting over there. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is a great example of the types of machine control that can now be done with LabVIEW 2009, the new NI Soft Motion module, and Compact Rio. Thanks, guys.